Hello YouTube, Spaceman with you here again. Tonight I'm smoking my Savinelli Roma 620, Um Paul, and I got a particularly interesting tobacco in the bowl tonight. It's one you may not have heard of, Cornell and Deal Constellation. And this tobacco is comprised of Black Cavendish, Burley, Latakia, and Virginia. It's a very interesting tobacco. It packs very well. Um, it needs no drying time at all. Um, I mean, it, it's, it's perfect right out of the pouch or the tin, whatever you have. Now, I've had this sitting in my pouch here, in my pipe bag for a day, and it's perfect. And I want to show this, I want to show you how colorful this tobacco is. It has some beautiful, beautifully colored light brown. If you can get a gander at that. The beautiful tobacco. And um, lights very well. I mean, on the char light, it just lit perfectly evenly all around. It just made a perfect, like, you know round burning ember of beautiful burning tobacco now let's get to the flavor the Virginia comes out very good well stands out you can taste the uh, Latakia but it's kind of like not as predominant of course the biggest player in this is the black Cavendish and the burley kind of adds like a cocoa-ish kind of chocolatey and nutty kind of flavor to it and i guess the cavendish probably rounds that out and kind of i don't know does cavendish add chocolate a little bit i don't know still not an expert <laughs> i'm getting there um I always thought Cavendish got came like a kind of vanilla, just chocolateish, unless it's like a um, you know a topping that's on it. And just now, when I took a draw off of this, I got a very like very interesting campfire kind of smell and taste, like a woodsy kind of. Mm. This tobacco is beautiful. I would. De this will definitely be a reorder. It comes in bulk. It's sold in bulk on pipe. On um. Oh, I got this from smoking pipes. It may be available on pipes and cigars. I'm not totally sure. Um. I'm sorry right now, but I can't remember what I paid for it at this time. Um. It's probably not very expensive, I imagine. If you hold on for a second, I'll do a little time travel here. I'll check that out. I'll be right back. So anyway, I, I hopped on over to Smoking Pipes and uh, Pipes and Cigars, and I checked out the price. Well, smoking pipes, four ounces is eleven thirty-four. I believe it's ten fifty-two. If you do the figuring on pipes and cigars, um, and two ounces, so two ounces on smoking pipes would be six. One ounce, uh, I believe, was uh, three eleven or three nineteen, one or the other. On pipes and cigars. Um, 
one ounce was 263 and two ounces would be um, 1020 uh, 526 I believe that's what it would be 526 so um, mathematics here right <laughs> anyway you get the point it's a bulk tobacco and it's actually uh, one of Cornell and Deal's oldest blends And indeed, the fact that it has such a great longevity is a big factor in the way it tastes and the way it feels when you smoke it. I mean, it's very good tobacco. Very good English blend. Um, it definitely appears to be full-bodied. It's got a little bit of a cocoa-y. And this is the really cool thing about it. Not only does it have this little campfire thing going on, but it also has a um, cocoa-ish taste. So it's kind of like a um, English with a cocoa thing kind of going on. So this is a great blend. Um, very good. Anyway, the music you're hearing in the background is Jethro Tall Nightcap. I don't know if any of you are familiar with this. Um, the, this um, is unreleased material. Um, the first disc, the one I'm listening to now, is the Chateau Disaster Tapes. And the second disc is unreleased. Um, what does that say? Pure tracks rare okay yeah right, right it's the writing style it's in it's kind of in a funny kind of writing style it's hard to read it's rare uh, unreleased rare tracks and um, this is actually a collection of hitherto unreleased recordings um, and most of the sessions, um, I guess that, uh, spawn these recordings. Let's see, let's see what it says about this. Most of the sessions for the past, for past studio albums have produced an extra song or two surplus to requirements. Sometimes these pieces fail to make it onto a record because they were too similar to one of their brothers or sisters sometimes as the ear may just detect because they were too different the infamous 1973 recording sessions at the Chateau de Haroville, Haroville near Paris were never completed due to ill health technical and production problems and the sudden decision of the band to return to the UK from temporary and ill-advised tax exile. Rather than continue with the Chateau tapes, we decided to begin again with a virtually new work, which quickly became the more downbeat and controversial a passion play. So here we have it, not a cup of tea for everyone, but a slightly dizzy nightcap for old friends in need of that last drum before laying down their heads never heard of that word must be an old English word for that last drum before laying down their heads to dream of what might have been Ian Anderson September 1993 so this is actually um, what was to be a passion play a lot of this uh, material but never did become a passion play and it's called Nightcap and um, first time I remember uh, this disc appearing with, was in 1993. Uh, and I never picked it up until recently. And it's some pretty good music on it. Um, so it's kind of like, you know, it's kind of like variations off of um, a passion play. 
would be familiar with that album. Um, this coffee is really good with this blend too. I'm drinking uh, I mean, Folgers Natural Chocolate um, Simply Gourmet Coffee. And This being only the second bowl of tobacco I have smoked in this Savinelli. Um, of course, yesterday I was at Edwards Pipe and Tobacco where I smoked Sir English. So this is going to be an English pipe. I like this pipe. By the way, upon first opening this pipe, I was very surprised at the size of how small it was. And I was kind of like disappointed in the beginning. But now I'm finding out this... I love this little pipe. This is such a cute little uh, pipe, and um, it goes, it does well for a short smoke. I mean, if you don't really want a long smoke, an hour, an hour and a half smoke, I mean, you, you buy some great big, you know, um, Oom Paul with a great big bowl, and you want your two hour smoke, you're going to get your two hour smoke. This thing is not that. This is for a short and sweet smoke, and that's what I'm using it for. So, uh, with that said and done, I'm going to slip out of here, finish smoking this bowl, and enjoy listening to some Jethro Tull, and I shall catch you the next time around. Take care.